Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to present Cambridge IGCSC ICT 2022 Paper 2-1 May-June Task 6 Presentation. So it says we are going to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. So create a presentation of 7 slides using the file j2221adriotic.rtf So we will open here powerpoint Yeah, and we will open here the file Yes, Adriatic. Here it is. And now make the changes accordingly. As it says, unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bullet style or list. So use a master slide to display the following features automated slide number on the top left. So click on View master slide now move to the first one here and they want the automated page number at left side and then center number candidate number as well your name center number candidate number we will remove from here a date and we will move this one here page number should be left line and this one is your details keep it here insert here we'll just click on slide number footer details and I will write here my name center number and candidate number apply to all that's all and then make sure master slide add appear in same position on every slide no item overlap another slide so it is done view normal view so your details on each slide is in the same position right moving forward forward first format the first slide a title slide layout is applied with no bullet so we will apply the title slide layout with no bullet then <clears throat> the text the title and the subtitle text are certain aligned in the middle of the slide yes it is in the middle of slide delete the slide with the title C currents right click and then just delete the slide Use the data in the file j2221 weather.csv to create a vertical bar chart. Fine, we will open this file first. Bar chart and this chart must compare only the air temperature high and air temperature low values for only the month of May. So let us just click here. So for the month of May, we will select only this one. This data, then temperature high and low. We'll click on insert and a vertical bar graph for it. This is how it is going to be. And next. June, July, August and September as well display with the label the month on the category axis. So it means they want May, June, July and August with September the temperature values and this one. That's all. Just click on insert and create a vertical bar graph. 
so this is how it is or uh, what you can do is if you can just take some time for example you hide this one these two also you hide them then just select these ones as well and hide them that's all now you choose this one and insert a chart like this and then next step display with label the month on the category axis label the chart as follows this is going to be your chart title then value axis title centigrade and category axis title month so here we will just click on this one and then just simply say degree centigrade okay and this one is going to be the months months and then after it says display the following only the data values at the top of each bar so data or you can just simply outside at the end a legend showing air temperature and this one <coughs> it is already here legend then we need to format the access value with the minimum 0 and maximum 32 and with the increment of 4 that's it this is how it will look like Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title climate. <coughs> Copy this one. Climate is here, so you just move this one towards left and place the chart here with all the details. That's it. And next question is to no words in the chart are split, no overlapping everything and print only the slide full page side in the landscape so you just stay in this slide file and then just click on print so this current slide in the full slide in the landscape orientation so it is already a full page and it is in the landscape orientation so you just print them out or edit the header footer if something is missing everything is fine you just print them and then next step is to on the slide with the title wind and tides locate the two bullets describing the bora and shirko winds format only these two bullets to look like this so <clears throat> we will move yes Bora and see we select this one and just press a tab button to look like this and the bullet you can just simply change to another bullet or customize I just want to have something like this that's all and then next step is to save the presentation and print the slide as handout with two slides per page so print not full slide handouts and then two slides per page so
So that's all from the PowerPoint part of this question paper. Hope you have learned how to create the master the, the master slide, the changes chart and uh, handouts with two sides per page. Thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates.